This is Sky News with Paula Middlehurst. Well, there have been extraordinary scenes in Berlin tonight as thousands of people gathered to hear Barack Obama deliver key foreign policy speech on his current European tour. The Democratic presidential hopeful laid out his vision for America's place in a new world order, saying he was speaking as a proud citizen of the United States and a fellow citizen of the world. But the burdens of global citizenship continue to bind us together. A change of leadership in Washington will not lift this burden. In this new century, Americans and Europeans alike will be required to do more, not less. Partnership and cooperation among nations is not a choice. It is the only way. All these new challenges are bringing together about the biggest restructuring we have ever seen, not just of the global economy, but of the global order as a whole. And 200 years ago, a famous British Foreign Secretary said that the new world had been called into existence to redress the balance of the old. In 1990, another old world ended, dominated by the Cold War, and people talked then, in 1990, of a new world order. What they actually meant then was a new political order. And what was not foreseen then, but is obvious now from everything that we see and do, what we experience in every day of our life, is the sheer scale and speed and scope of globalization. And it's only now that we can begin to understand that the world order that globalization brings and what it's going to look like, it's driven forward now not just by the balance of military strength, the Cold War times, or ordinary political power. It's being driven forward by a seismic shift in economic power that realizes what I believe is our destiny of success in this new world order. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, a new world is emerging. It is a new world order with significantly different and radically new challenges for the future. From 1945 and the end of the war through 1989 and the end of the Cold War, we had a worldview. Republican and Democratic presidents alike, from Harry Truman to George Bush, stood for freedom and stood for certain propositions that would make America strong and healthy and grow the middle class and shrink poverty and stand against communism. And after 1989, President Bush kept said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order, and instead it looks like we got a lot of disorder. And we still, when, and after 9-11, we've been more sensitive to the There future. is a chance for the President of the United States to use this disaster to carry out what his father, a phrase his father used, I think, only once, and hasn't been used since, and that is a new world order. One of those moments in history in which there is uh, the necessity for a new world order. A, because of what's taken place in the Middle East, the rise of, of different kinds of groups, and B, what's happened in Asia, meaning that the, the, there has been a shift from the West to the East. Uh, there's a need for a new world order. In the next few years, a solution will emerge that people will look into that cauldron and decide that they have to learn their limits, not just we, but everybody else. I want to make one point about globalization. It's always discussed in economic terms that everybody is better off, but that it's only partially true. Everybody is better off on the average, but in some countries or in some regions, people lose their jobs, major adjustments have to be made. That's the engine of globalization. The people who are disadvantaged by the process look to their governments for solutions. But the governments are national and the problem is global. So how to bring about a relationship between the desirable process of globalization and its impact on the Yet politics? these problems Europe. can be overcome by a joint effort in our, and between our countries. 2009 is also the first year of global governance with the establishment of the G20 in the middle of the financial crisis. The climate conference in Copenhagen 
is another step towards the global management of our planet. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order.